What's going on everybody? It is Dude from Ukraine. How are you guys? So I am back once again on the Cashcraft server. Today we are going to get things done on the server now. Uh, I have a few things planned for you guys. Hopefully you guys are excited. I'm in the temple right now. Uh, I did go mining. As you can see I got uh, quite a bit of coal. Uh, the wood was actually already there. I went uh, cutting trees a little bit too earlier, but um, this is not all I mine. I got a quite a bit of diamond. I actually died with a, almost a stack of diamonds, which was a little bit depressing. Uh, if, uh, what, how did I die? Oh yeah, I got just rushed by mobs. One skeleton was on a spider, and then zombies and a creeper exploded. It was just insane stuff, but check it out. So I got 64 stack of diamonds and 27 uh, in the other stack there. I got a bunch of iron, which I'm going to use for the... Uh, uh, the beacon I got some gold as well got some wood um, but yeah when mining it's pretty exciting I've um, got a lot more uh, stuff now so I'm not as uh, broke right now uh, let's say hello to alpha hey dude what are you up to it's exciting somebody's on a server but let me show you real quick uh, what I did with the mine uh, this is the community mine uh, I was kind of bored honestly and I was just kind of okay hey, let's you know make some changes to it because I saw Matthias was actually um, um, he was playing on the server earlier and uh, uh, he was uh, going using the mine shaft and it was a little bit confusing some mines are already used and stuff like that so I expanded the mine a little bit um, I put signs which ones are open and then these are closed so as you can see those are open I expanded them in a different color so it stands out a little bit but I added six on this side and then six on the other side as well and then I decided to go strip mining myself and uh, I was there for about like two two and a half hours or something like that I just and then as you can see here there's a different type of wood here um, yeah so that's kind of neat so hopefully now uh, Matthias or whoever else joins the server uh, will have a place to mine so I decided to do that but today we are going to enchant uh, a sword because I don't have a sword as you can see I'm using a stone sword and it's terrible I do have it an amazing bow it has it's probably literally the best bow in the game uh, but today we're gonna be ma making a pretty OP uh, sword so hopefully um, next time we have maybe arena fights or something like that where I just fighting against mobs I can defend myself and not have any struggles and just die oh there's alpha I see you <laughs> starting to graft island nice I left you a bunch of uh, cobble so yeah when I went mining nice oops spelling arrows sparing arrows okay uh, let's go so I have the uh, sharpness four. I have uh, looting three which took me a while and I finally got a looting three book which was just amazing and exciting and I have an unbreaking book so I'm gonna add that on the sword um, and I do need to get go back and get some diamonds but let's go to my bookshop we might get a couple books from there um, I think I want to add sharpness make it sharpness five and then also add fire aspect i don't think i want to add knockback because if i'm gonna do pvp of this sword i feel like knockback will just mess it up and if i'm trying to like just go crazy on someone uh i just want to like sword them and not worry about knocking them back let's see what alpha said awesome so yeah i left him a bunch of cobble from mining i've had i literally gave him probably a full inventory of stuff but which is good so hopefully that's gonna help him out uh, sharpness 5 I'm actually gonna take this sharpness 5 I'll put sharpness 4 on sale so um, two diamonds not bad uh, let's do fire aspect ooh we don't have a fire aspect I might have to might have to oh man that sucks I really wanted to add that hmm let's go down to the XP farm and I'll make a sword add a few books to it and then we we'll, might have to uh, enchant some books actually let's go back to the shop um, we might have to make some books because I don't have enough um, I don't I can't remember even how to make books let's go to the office real quick um, but yeah guys uh, what I've been up to let's see uh, recently a week ago um, I had a huge like stomach I don't know if it was stomach flu or what it was 
it was just insane literally i could not go to sleep about i mean i ate all day everything was fine i didn't eat anything like out of ordinary or that was bad but for some reason once midnight hit i was watching a movie midnight hits and my stomach starts to act weird it's just it just starts to kind of hurt a little bit and i was like okay this is weird and it's kind of midnight hits movie is kind of starting to end and then i was like eh, i'm gonna go to sleep so i can wake up early tomorrow and uh so i'm going to sleep actually trying to fall asleep and then my stomach starts to hurt like crazy it's like something is poking my stomach from the inside outside it's like there's tornadoes going on, hurricanes, and it, it, I don't even understand what's going on right now with my stomach. And I'm just like, oh my god, what is going on? I don't have to go to the bathroom or anything like that. I don't have to go number two. You know, there's nothing like that. It's just, um, it's just my stomach just being crazy. It's not making any noise. It's just literally something poking. It's like, it's like I don't know. <laughs> it's like I'm having a baby. I don't even know how to, it is to have a baby. Cause, and I'll never know, but uh, it's it's. I feel like if I would imagine having a baby, it'd be like that. I don't know. Uh, that's a weird analogy, but uh, yeah. So it's just really painful. It's like something is literally just like trying to punch something from the inside. I don't know. It's 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 extremely painful. It gets to the point where I'm like, I can't even lay down on my side. I can't can't lay down in a ball or like straight out. I just no way, no not on my stomach, not any position I lay down is literally uncomfortable and just painful. So I have to lay down on my back. Every time I breathe, it it literally just hurts. And I'm like, what is going on? So I started Googling things. That's what I do. <laughs> I uh pretty much every time I have if I'm I'm not feeling well or something like that, I just pretty much go to Google and like, okay, Google help me sharpness five yeah and then i'm like okay what's going on what's going on and i'm looking on google and it's like it's not really helping honestly so i'm like man what is going on uh server's lagging a little bit and i'm just like i don't understand i need 18 more levels um i don't understand what's going on so i'm like man what is going on so and honestly till like 7 30 a.m in the morning i literally just laid there try to find a place to kind of like feel comfortable i guess and what google told me is like hey put some uh something warm on your stomach so it makes it feel a lot better so i had one of those ice packs slash heat packs and uh i decided to put those on and uh they they did not that did not really honestly help so i was like man this sucks what is going on so that did not help. I just kept laying there. I walked around my apartment, which is still painful. And, you know, ar around like 8.30 p.m., I started finally feeling better. And then I was like, okay, feeling better now. Uh, let me get some sugar cane real quick, too. Um, I'm feeling better now. And uh, I didn't actually notice me feeling better. Sorry, I'm spacing out a little bit. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the, exactly how everything went down. But uh, so, yeah, I don't actually remember, like, it getting better i honestly just like passed out at eight in the morning so the from 12 a.m to like about maybe like 7 30 8 a.m i can't remember when i really passed out but the whole time i could not sleep and then i randomly just passed out i wake up the next day before i go to work feeling like crap because i haven't slept at all and then i'm just like hey my stomach's okay so i don't know what it was if i just i don't know I have no idea. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys had something like this. I don't think it was food poisoning because it would have been a lot worse. So, I don't know. It, it was just terrible. And the whole day, I didn't honestly want to do anything. I had to go to work. So, I worked all day. And then I came home and just relaxed because of the night, previous night. It was just terrible. I could not sleep. Did not get any sleep at all because of me not um, being, being able to sleep. Um, but, yeah. That was a pretty... Uh, painful night but let me um get this sugar cane done uh make some books and i'll get some xp and then i'll be right back and we'll finish enchanting the sword because this is gonna be an awesome sword we're gonna use it at pvp and against mobs but yeah it's just that stomach thing was pretty insane hold on i'll be right back guys Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so I gave up on enchanting because I wanted to make the perfect sword. And look, I made this, sharpness 5, looting 3. I was going to add knockback, but I don't think I want to add knockback just in case I do PvP and stuff. Um, I think that will prevent me from doing certain things um, or just like killing my enemy. Um, but so 
I wanted to add uh, Fire Aspect 2 on it, and uh, I literally spent probably three days in the XP farm. I had probably a little bit over double chest of um, enchanted books, and yeah, it, I didn't get anywhere, honestly. I did not, what is this? I don't know what that is. Um, I did not get anywhere, and that was really, really frustrating. So I think I got Fire Aspect 1. I did uh, get a lot of other books to refill my shop, which was awesome. But I also did not want to spend like three something days in the, you know, the XP farm. And I kind of just, after that, I just kind of needed to take a break from Minecraft because I was like, I can't do this anymore. Too much Minecraft. And you can see, I went to cow farms here. Um, I made like a crap ton of books and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, I made a lot, a lot of uh, books, which is good. Now my shop is refilled, um, and I also did this. I don't know. What do you guys think of this? I think it's kind of a cool look. This kind of adds a little texture, carpet, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. looks kind of cool. A little bit goofy, maybe, in this texture pack. I'm not sure. I'm trying to make it like a different type of grass, but let me know what you guys think of that. Now, I also added this stuff down here. Underneath, there's like a five deep hole. And it puts signs there and carpets, so then now mobs can't walk into my shop. I think Conman showed me this, um, but I think like Etho or somebody created or thought of that or whatever. As you can see, uh, I didn't re well, obviously, I didn't reveal a fire aspect, but as you can see, I have looting. Um, ton and ton of books were just like added to the shop. Like now I have Unbreak and I have Fortune. Uh, I don't have fortune yet. Well, this one, this fortune book, I'm gonna sell to Anthony. Look at that. Unbreaking fortune. It's like perfect combination. So it's like two for one kind of deal. Um, ton of silk touch books. Uh, no fire protection. But yeah, ton of different books added to the shop. We're actually going to go to Conman shop today. And I'm going to actually buy some obsidian because Biggs is selling some. But I'm going to buy some from Conman because he did spend quite a bit of time getting all that stuff for me. Conman shop. Look at that. Look at that. Conman's doing some work on his shop. Look at that. That looks really good. Carpet's a little trippy, but I'll dig the uh, the ceiling. The ceiling definitely. The shop definitely looks a lot better now than it did before. Um, oh, he removed his little counter thing here. Um, let's see. Where's the obsidian? He said he put the obsidian up. That's clay, glowstone. Uh, did he lie? I think he did. Well, that's awkward. So. He did not put the obsidian yet, for some reason, even though he said he would. Um, it's not in this chest. I'm going to steal his stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so he actually got me three stacks of obsidian. Well, oh, that's my obsidian. That's a, I was like, oh, there it is, but that's a, that's an ender chest. Wow, okay. Um, so anyways, we can't buy obsidian from him because he didn't put it back in the shop yet. He's I think he's been busy with work and stuff like that. Um, I actually have been busy with work too. My hours just went up like crazy and I've been just working, working, working and man, it's been hectic. Um, but I'm back to making videos. Hopefully you guys saw my Sims episode. Uh, this is Biggs's. Okay, let's see if Biggs has more obsidian. Where was it? Um, see, Biggs's shop is actually pretty cool. Check it out. So you got different types of potions, um, more potions armor he's gonna have armor maybe we can make a deal Ooh, maybe we can make a deal i can sell him books and then he can uh enchant his armor and stuff obsidian boom one stack for three diamonds perfect i'm gonna make a purchase um one stack for three diamonds so i'm gonna buy one two three stacks i'll put that back there so one stack for three diamonds that's a really good deal that's a really good deal i think it's exactly what i'm paying to con man but I got it now, so we're going to drop, make it payments of three. I'll, I'll give him a tip. I'll give him a tip. Let's put that in there, put that in there, and put that in there. I'll throw a tip. Um, I'm going to put a sign down here. Bought three stacks of obsidian uh, left a tip max thanks 
All right, there we go. Thank you, Biggs. Your shop is awesome. I don't know if it's actually running for business right now, but I did make a purchase because I do need obsidian because I will be working on the um, I will be working on the arena. Hopefully, you guys are excited for that. I'm gonna try to get everyone to do some PvP in the arena because um, we have this awesome arena, and I already showed it to you guys in previous episodes. Um, I think a recent episode has the thumbnail. You can see, go to that, and then you'll see the arena. So it does have some awesome, you know, things in the arena. It does need a little bit of fixing, but you can do so many cool things. We can do PvP. We can do fight against, like fight against mobs and stuff like that. Um, so there's a lot of cool stuff we can do. And uh, let's get some wheat. Uh, there's no wheat. Okay. Um, I'm gonna re populate the cows a little bit but yeah so there's a lot of cool things we can do there and uh, i'm really excited for it so hopefully i'm going to get everyone excited for that as well and then we also are talking about doing the uh um uhc again because the first uhc kind of failed honestly um if you guys were wondering why it hasn't happened is because okay first of all we didn't schedule it properly um i had to go to work everyone had other things to do and then Gliss left town um, and then I was free during that time so it just just time scheduling everything went kind of crazy and uh, yeah so that's why that didn't really work out the we will finish it I think um, we it, will, it won't shouldn't take that long I think we should finish it um, I just gotta find the time for everybody to you know get on the server and then actually you know finish it because everyone's you know from Canada, you know, there's um, England, Belgium, everyone's kind of from all different types of places around the world, and it's really hard to find exact timing to where everyone's free, because sometimes during the weekends, everyone is free, but then I think I was part of the reason, um, so I wasn't free because I had work. Um, I work a lot during the weekends because that's kind of like the rush time to where I work, um, that's where we get most customers and stuff like that. So I usually work during the weekends and um, I can only probably get recording done in the a.m. And then sometimes where when I can get the recording done in the a.m., it's a bit too early for other people. So, yeah, it, it's kind of hard to find the timing to get all that figured out. But we will finish the UHC season one because that was kind of a failure I agree it was a lot of fun though it was a lot of fun a lot of crazy intense stuff happened because you know like con man died Biggs died Zai died con man died within like first minute which was like insane I was like wait wait is this real is this is this really happening I was like how did con man die and I watched his footage it was a little bit insane but uh yeah it, it was still fun it was a lot of fun the four episodes that we released it was it, it was a it was a lot of fun um we all definitely enjoyed it. It's just we got to finish it, start season two. Season two, I think we're planning to do um, in groups, so like 2v2 kind of thing. I'm really excited for that. I think it's going to be a little more exciting, and uh, it's going to be a little bit different too. So playing in teams, and I don't know what teams we're going to do yet. I'm probably going to do like a random drawing kind of thing and then see um, who plays with who because I think – Obviously, I think everybody would want Zai and uh, Biggs to be on the same team, but I think it would be fun to just kind of mix it up and stuff and uh, have different teams. So that should be coming soon. We're just kind of planning it out. We've got to set up a time and date to record, um, find a map and stuff like that. So there's a few things we have to set up and get done. Um, but in the next episode, guys, I will be working on the arena, just kind of reinforcing it a little bit. Make, touching it up just in case we, you know, we, we do fight and use TNT and stuff like that so it doesn't get destroyed. That's why I bought a ton of obsidian, um, which, again, thank you, Bix. Uh, and Con Man, you failed once again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you, Con Man. Uh, I'll probably buy some more from him, too. I'll probably need more uh, anyway. So as you can see, look at me. I look really, really, <laughs> really poor right now because i don't have any armor i haven't made any armor I haven't had the time to and when i make armor i kind of want it to be perfect so that's why i just kind of found some at the xp farm just using this right here um but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode um thank you guys so much for watching as always i really appreciate it it means a lot by the way i always read you guys's comments and honestly it means a lot to me all your guys's comments because i love reading them 
and when I see like nice comments or just any kind of comment, I'm like, oh, you know, like, and I try to reply to a lot of them. I just don't reply to all of them, but I do read all of them. So if I don't reply to yours in certain video, you know, don't get kind of like, oh, that sucks, man. He hates me or something. No, I love all of you guys. I appreciate all of your guys' this, you know, support, likes, and, you know, tweets and stuff you guys send at me and stuff like that. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Like I said, I love reading that stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys.